The story was page one last September. Janet Cook wrote about a little boy hooked on heroin by his mother's lover. A story the Post said yesterday was simply not true. She had not interviewed an eight-year-old heroin addict, and that uh, uh, the quotes attributed to him were fabricated. So the Washington Post is publishing this morning an explanation of what went wrong with Janet Cook's prize-winning story, a tale that prompted a massive wild goose chase by the city looking for Jimmy, a little boy who did not exist. It involved the Metropolitan Police Department, the Department of Human Services, and the D.C. School Board. It involved hundreds of people and thousands of man hours. The Post has apologized to the city for the inconvenience, and the publisher, Donald Graham, says Janet Cook also falsified her job application to the Post. She said she'd finished college at Vassar with a graduate degree from the University of Toledo. Neither credential was true. James Wooten, ABC News, Washington.